Hey guys, welcome back. Guys, wanna know how I get this idea? So let's get back to the past. I got my routine and my exam is knocking at my door. It was the night before my exam. Books open, pen in my hand and I was finally in study mode. But right behind me, my friend was deep into his gaming session and trust me, the volume, it was insane. I asked him nicely, bro, please lower the volume. I need to study. But he ignored me. Next day, same exam stress, but this time it wasn't gaming. It was music, a loud and non-stop. I knew if this continued, my exam would be a disaster. And I had to find a way at any cost. I suddenly opened my laptop, started searching and found exactly what I needed. And now it's payback time. His music gone, his Bluetooth jammed, and me finally at peace. So better don't mess with me. So alright, now let's see how this device was made step by step. So before starting the video, make sure to subscribe the channel with high energy. And let's get started. At first, I started with ESP32 microcontroller, which comes with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth built-in. Next, I need two NRF module to disrupt the signal. And it comes with two antennas to extend the range. Then I need 3.7 volt 600 mAh battery to make it portable. To charge this battery, I need a TP4056 charging module. Along with that, I need two capacitors, a small switch, a female header, and a PCB to keep everything organized. And here's the circuit diagram, simple and effective. And I will provide this in my description. Now it's time to build. Now I'm placing the ESP32 on PCB and started soldering. Every joints, every connection had to be solid. So make sure shoulder them carefully. Then I'm connecting the NRF module on PCB. I placed it in the front side to make it look good. As you can see, I did the connection according to the circuit diagram. By the way, if you are enjoying this project so far, make sure to hit the like button, share with your friends and drop a comment below with your thought. Slowly the circuit started taking the final shape and now it's ready. This circuit may look simple but each connection is critical. The ESP32 communicates with the module and together they generate the disruption effect. After that I connected the battery. Then I connected the capacitor in the positive and negative pin of NRF module. It is used to stabilize the power and provide extra current during transmission. Then I need a USB cable. So our hardware part is completed. So let's jump to the programming part. I will provide this link in my description and you can get it from there. At first you need to select the dual mode. Then select the COM port. In my case it's COM5 but you may have different number. After that, click on install. Don't get worried, it will take some time. Until then, you go and like this video and share it to your friends. Here you can see I am using the dual version because it's more powerful. But if you are selecting the single version, it will be less powerful. And finally, it's successfully installed to my ESP32 board. With everything complete, I fixed the component neatly onto the PCB. At first, I placed the ESP32, then two NRF modules. Now it's looking like a real portable hacking device. As you know, Bluetooth jamming is banned in many countries and this device is illegal to use in public places. So be careful and don't try it on others. It's a criminal offense and this video is only for educational purpose. Now I am attaching the two antennas. Now it's time to test it in real life. Here I am using a Bluetooth speaker and turning my Bluetooth on and my phone is connected to the Alexa speaker and the sound you are hearing is coming directly from the speaker itself. This is not edited, not added later. It's the actual audio playing live from the device. So you know the taste is completely real. Watch closely. The moment I press this switch, the signal gets disrupted. And just like that, the sound cuts off instantly. And when I turn off the switch, the speaker regains the connection and the music continues playing smoothly. So guys, how is this device? Isn't it crazy? 
It's really a magical hacking tool only if you use it wisely and a good way. If you are using a 5 dB antenna, the range you will get will be wider. Guys, you will not believe the crazy part of this device is that it not only disrupts the Bluetooth but it also jams the local Wi-Fi. You can see in my phone the Wi-Fi connection is gone. This device only works on 2.4 GHz frequency and not 5 GHz frequency. After running for some time, the jammer also begins to interfere with the Wi-Fi signals. And that's how I build my own Bluetooth jammer using ESP32 and NRF module. It started as just an idea but turned into a working project that actually solved my problem. Of course, remember this is for learning only and never use it irresponsibly. So guys, if you enjoyed this project, hit the like button, share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel for more exciting DIY builds. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next project and stay tuned.